we made a conscious decision to be a more proactive civic leader. And that means getting people together, uh, helping shape the conversation, public, private, nonprofit sectors, um, getting a lot of voices that aren't always heard to get heard, and to really then take um, a, a voice, an active voice in these key issues. The top three issues that, that we have determined to focus on, in addition to everything else we do, are public education, uh, economic security, and primary health care. So those are three areas that both nationally and locally we view as critical, immediate, and long-term areas where we need to improve. So we need to provide all of our children in the state of Rhode Island with the best education possible. We need to make sure everybody has affordable and accessible primary health care uh, for the long term. And economic security, uh, workforce development, job training, uh, growth of the business ecosystem, all are the ones that we think are, are the top ones right now. Now, I don't think there's a magic secret to fundraising. You know, the basic one is you have to ask. And as simple as that sounds, uh, not everybody likes to, to do that. And we always keep in mind that when we're asking, when we're talking to potential donors, we're not asking for ourselves. We're asking for the community of Rhode Island. And so you're really inviting people to participate in solutions, to participate in opportunities uh, where their money, where their time, where their talent is gonna make a difference. The value and the strength of this state is its size. We lament that we're small, but we can interact with each other. We can get things done if we really set our mind to it. That's what I love, is being out there in the community, working with these different groups collaboratively and getting inspired by them.